Hello, I'm Full Paragon, and this is your guide to the Dark Golem Arena. So just like last week, this is a Dark Element boss. The waves will be first one, and then two big beefy skeleton minions. However, the boss will do a tier 3 defense up for both magic and physical attacks on turns 1 and 6. You should be cheesing this with agility downs. Using Cosmo or Wiz are your best bet. However, his ultimate does a physical attack down on your team. Because of this, physically based teams, which we saw dominated against the troll boss, will not be nearly as effective here, as since it's on the ultimate, you can't be skipping this with agility downs. You can try debuff block, but there is another alternative. I honestly think that mages are just better this time around. Because of that physical attack down the boss spans, mages are just going to have a much easier time with fewer team building constraints. Indeed, last week a mage team very similar to this did extremely well. They used a Megamine, Maid Rin, Christmas Wiz, Maid Leah, and RPR Roo. If you can run this team, it's going to do extremely well. I did put Idle Megamine in here because theoretically she does very well against the big beefy minions that we see here instead of waves of smaller minions. However, due to how good her buffs are, it's incredibly likely that ReZero Megamine will once again be the Megamine of choice and the go-to for this arena. The good news for players is that there are a lot of alternatives here. As I mentioned, you can use ReZero or Idle Megamine. You can also use the new Idle Marrow who will be coming out on Monday as she has a light trait. She will probably go into the rear 5, but the increase to damage that all light-based elemental attacks do could be a very useful steroid for your team. She's kind of useless outside of that trait, so stick her in the rear. Union is also okay here, but she's not as good. She can substitute for either Maid Rin or for RPR Ru. If you're substituting her for Maid Rin, don't use Railgun on Megamine. Instead, just use a regular explosion as it will take too long to charge otherwise. If you don't have Christmas Wiz, Ninja Wiz is alright, but again, if you're not using Christmas Wiz, don't try to go for Railgun. Only do that if you can have two gauge up skills. Idle Cosma can also work if you don't have Maid Leah as a weakness debuffer. His snipe is a good slowdown against the boss, but it's inferior to the agility up and damage cut that Maid Leah offers if you're using him alongside Wiz, as she also has an agility down on the boss. So there are a lot of different options you can try here, and even some 3 star variants such as 3 star Aru or 3 star Union, although none of them will be as good as the 4 star version. I'm keeping this guide relatively brief because we're going to see massive score inflation one day into this arena, because when Idle Meru drops, we'll also be getting the new version of elemental weapons as well as character shards. Both of these things will lead to massive score inflation. I will be releasing a guide on the new weapons and the shard progression system, one video for each system, but you'll have to wait at least a few days for that as I want to get my hands on it and play around with it a little bit before I release the guide. That's the video, thanks for watching. Tune in tomorrow for when I do a stream to look at the new weapon systems and of course, the new arena.